بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَمٍ Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan Time. I hope everybody is doing ibadat, dhikr, praying salah on time, reading the Quran and fasting. Just remember, when fasting, you should keep your tongue to yourself. You should never say words which are disrespectful or rude. The tongue is a boneless piece of flesh. However, but it... But also not mean words or kicking or hitting. No. That's not part of the tongue. The tongue can't do that. <laughs> Anyways, the tongue is very, very powerful. It can join nations together and break hearts very easily. A wise person thinks before he speaks, whilst a foolish person speaks, then thinks. Words are like arrows. Once released, they cannot be stopped. However, when the word is remained unspoken, then you still have control of it. So we must always remember to think before we speak and to not blurt out random things. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day. Donate used Islamic books to your local masjid. Give the gift... I like masjid. You like masjid? Are you going to donate used Islamic books to the masjid? Okay. And I also love it. Give the gift of knowledge to another person who is seeking it. You will be rewarded, inshaAllah. So, Samiha, you know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, When the son of Adam dies, all his good deeds come to an end except three. Ongoing charity, knowledge from which others may benefit after he is gone, and a righteous son who will pray for him. Okay? Yeah. Now that we've finished the good deed of the day, Hadith. let's move on to Hadith. And Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu, anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qala, man da'a ila huda, kana lahu min al-ajri, mithlu ujuri, man tabi'ahu la yankusu thalika, min ujurihim shay'a, wa man da'a ila dhalalatin, kana alayhi min al-ithmi, mithlu athami, من تبعه لا ينقص ذلك من آثامهم شيئا. Narrated to Abu Huraira رضي الله عنه, Allah's Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said, If anyone calls others to follow right guidance, his reward will be equivalent to those who follow him in righteousness without their reward being diminished in any respect on that account. And if anyone invites others to follow error, the sin of which he is guilty will be equivalent to those of the people who follow him in sinfulness without their sins being diminished in any respect on that account. Let's have a look at the lesson of this hadith. <laughs> Number one, we should always guide and urge others to do good and discourage them from doing bad. Number two, if we urge someone to do good, we will get exactly the same reward as them from Allah. Okay. Number three, Allah forbids us to call upon people to do bad, and we will get the same sin as them if we do so. Okay. So, Samiha, you should always invite others to do good, not bad, okay? Mm -hmm. We should never encourage people to do bad. Because if we do, then we will get the same sin as the person doing it. Let's have a look at the discussion section. Oh, yeah, that's the discussion section. I'm going to ask you a few questions and you're going to answer them. Number one, what should we encourage others to do? We play. Um, another one? We play. We, we should encourage others to do good. Okay. Number two, if we tell our little brother or sister to kick a cat, even though we do not do it ourselves, we will still get the sin of kicking the cat. True or false? Um, false. 
No, that's Cheap. true. Because if you tell your little brother or sister to do bad, such as kicking a cat, then you'll get the same sin as them doing it. Mm-hmm. And that's really, really bad, yeah. kicking a cat. Yeah, we don't kick cats. Yeah, that's really bad. That's not good at all. Mm-hmm. Number three, if we tell our friends to be nice to the new boy or girl in the class, we will also get the reward of being nice to them. True or false? True. Yeah, that's true. Now, we're going to move on to Sura Learning Time. So, yesterday I taught Sumi how to say Sura al Now you're going to say it by yourself. Yay! <laughs> Start with A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billah, Himina Shaitan Raji. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wailun ni kulli humza chillu maza Allazi jama'a ma'alau wa'ajjada Yasabu anna ma'alahu wa'akhlada Kalla layun bazanna fil hutama Wa ma'a adwaka man hutama Nara Allahi mughala Allati ta'ta'u wa la'afida Inna ha'alayhim mu'sada Fi abdin mu'madjada well done, Samiha. I'm very, very proud of you. Now, it's the end of the video, unfortunately. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Say assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, everyone. <laughs> Say assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Iqra bismi rabbika al-lazhi khalaq, khalaq al